Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And today I'm doing a video that I've been seeing, another one seeing floating around in the community. And I saw the name, so nice, I bought it twice. And it just stuck in my brain. So we are talking about makeup products that are so nice, I bought them twice. Now the the way I'm approaching this, and I've seen different people approach it in different ways, I'm approaching it not as like I bought a bunch at one time because that could be like my whole singles collection, but things where I bought one or two, liked them enough, and then I went back and bought more. So multiple shades of a lip product or duplicates of a brush. I'm not talking about like refills. I'm yeah, so I think it'll be kind of obvious as I'm going through, but I just thought I would talk about things that I like so much that I wanted in multiple. And uh, if you are new here and you like colorful makeup, you like bitches with lots of opinions about makeup and other things, or you just like cute fat babes, I hope you will subscribe, perhaps become a patron or a YouTube member, which are all linked in the description box. I will also try to link all the makeup that's on my face. Uh, there is going to be a video for this look, but I'm not sure if that video is going to be out first or if this one is. So uh, if that one's not out first, please be patient, but it's coming. Okay, so as I was looking through my makeup collection, as I was thinking about things, I found that I had a couple of big themes with products um, and you'll see those as we go. Now, the very first product that popped into my head that I'm just gonna get out of the way, the one that really I was like, yes, yes, of course this qualifies, are my Cover FX blushes. So when I first bought the Cover FX blushes, I got Mojave Mauve and Soft Peach. And uh, these are, if you're new here, these are like, I think my top favorite blush formula, just, and they have been for like a year and a half, two years. Uh, this one is broken, although if you saw this in the video where this fell out, I did save it. But this is Soft Peach, Mojave Mauve is like a pinky mauve tone. And I got these in an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because get them on sale if you can why the hell not? And then the next Ulta 21 Days of Beauty or the one after that, I picked up two more. I picked up Soft, no, 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 I just said Soft Beach. Warm Honey and Spice Cinnamon. Uh, I would have to say Warm Honey is the shock favorite. Like, I don't want a bronzer in the, any time in the near future because this brown blush gives me like I, I can go bronzy or I can go blushy. I I love these. So these were very top of my mind with this this concept. Uh, one that I, I kind of qualifies is the Oma uh, Stay Woke Concealer. So what happened with this is that when I first purchased it, I think I got T2, which is okay for me now, but it was, it's okay. It's, it's more yellow, but it's darker. And I had it for a little while and I really liked the formula and I really wanted to be able to like wear the concealer on an everyday basis. And I need to dip back into these more and I go back to them. And so I decided to pick up T.075, which is much more pink. So I don't quite have a perfect match either way, but the lighter one, because it's pinkier, does kind of uh, correct some of the under eye darkness. And then the darker one can work more as like an all over the face concealer. So I'm not mad about it. And like I said, lovely formula. Totally, totally like lovely. I said it, okay. So yeah, those, and I think that's the con main concealer where like 
Have I have I bought a sec? I don't think I've quite done that. I can. I think with this one, this formula was so different to me that I didn't feel like I wanted to like mix other concealers with it. I really wanted to just experience the concealer as it was. Now, something I'm calling runner up for the face category is the Kaleidos highlighters. And I say runner up because I got a lot of these in PR. The first two that I got, the Icy Blue and the, wait, was it Star Server? I think it was Star Server too. Um, those were gifts. And then I ended up getting PR from Kaleidos. So I ended up getting the full collection at the time. So are they a collection I would have bought from once I experienced the first two? Completely, yes. So that's why I wanted to mention them. Like they're such a wonderful, wonderful highlighter formula. But it was PR, so, you know, technicalities there. Now, a huge, huge group of products that fit into this category for me are eyeliners. If you're new around here, I was definitely on this hunt for like colorful waterline eyeliners. I've kind of, I'm not not still on the hunt, but I've kind of come to accept the realities of the market and of my eyeballs. But I still have a love for eyeliners. And I think one of the first products that I really, maybe not the first, but the Marc Jacobs Matte Gel Eyeliner, that was one where, so I think this was the original color I bought. This is Whirlpool. And I love the formula so much that I bought the Cobalt Blue and the Lavender. And then over time, those all three kind of died. And then I picked up Whirlpool one more time before they've kind of completely emptied out of stores. I really like this formula. Um, the packaging is a little bit annoying, but I really enjoy this formula. I would have taken, I've said this so many times, I would have taken a whole rainbow of these in the matte formula. So good. And then let's see, another very kind of like popular line that's in drugstores that I have dabbled in are the LA Girl Shockwave. I think the yellow was the first that I bought and I was very impressed with this. And then I went and bought, I think it was the turquoise, the purple and the green. Um, and then later on, I picked up this pink one, which I think is technically a lip liner. Oh, this is Blaze, but I, I only use this in the waterline. Like I don't use this on my lips. So it's not gonna be ice. It's not gonna feel ice safe for everyone, but after having picked up a few, I think that Fresh is my favorite, best of the best. And then I think Blaze and the Yellow are probably next. I actually think the Yellow is less good than I thought it was. And then the Purple to me and the Green are my least favorite. I think I threw out the Green. They're just very sheer on my waterline, whereas like especially Fresh and Blaze are super creamy, pigmented, and stay on. So I, ugh, I, 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 I like these. I want LA Girl to do more with this formula. I think they have been, but I, I want more bright colors. But, you know, their pastel line, I didn't love as much. It, it didn't didn't hold my waterline as, as well as some of these. Another drugstore formula that I, that I bought more than one from, I think the, I think it's gone. So I had a navy Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. I had already loved the pencil version of this formula. So I picked up a navy one. It was so nice. I went back and bought this mossy green one. The navy one I actually used completely up. Um, the mossy green still has still has uh, a while to go, but yeah, it's a nice retractable uh, liner formula. The newest, I think, pencil eyeliner that I've picked up quite a few from are the MCNY, I think it's McQueen New York from Yes Style. This is also a mix of buying and PR. I bought this one, this is a deep like coffee, um, it's, it's Aura Heroin is the color that I have. And then I got, yes, style, uh, like last year gave me one of those like gift card, get makeup, 
kind of PR things. And so I ended up grabbing three more of their eye pencils. This one is still my favorite. It's super, super creamy. It reminds me of the Milani eye pencil that I love. My issue with this one lately is that it's this plastic pencil is not sharpening well, so I'm losing a lot of product. But yeah, I still find this to be the best formula. These other browns are just okay. And then this is like a champagne kind of color. Um, still love the deepest brown I'm gonna have or a heroin, but I'm, I'm, I would be, I would still, I'm, I'm a clown. I would still be curious to, to try this formula in other colors. Speaking of being a clown with eyeliners, Liesl Gel Pot eyeliners. So currently I have four. I used to have probably like 12. I did clown behavior with some of them. That was, that was, mm, it was all my fault. But um, I have multiples of them. I still really like this formula. This is one of the most impactful formulas that I can ha I can get working on my waterline and on my eyeliner, like like as a wing. Um, the reason why I don't recommend these the way I used to is that the formula just does seem to dry out a little too quick for my preferences, for how many colors I like to collect and, and all of that, as my battery so rudely interrupted me. Um, if there's a color that you think you would use a lot and you are looking for like a very like long wearing kind of liner, I think these could be an option, but you know, I've said my piece. Now, another eye related thing that I have bought many of are the Danessa Myricks color fix. Now I first picked up this trio back in I think June of 2020. This has a matte and two kind of shimmery tones and then over time I have picked up two of the foils. Um, I picked up Milky Way and Alien. Milky Way is definitely a Hannah Louise posted made me buy it kind of product. What I have realized is that I prefer the matte or the like deeply pigmented shimmers. Um, the foil formula is nice and I think if you were doing like all over the eye with no other makeup style of like shiny eye, I think these are really cool. But I don't, a lot of times I would rather just grab a single shadow and like do that. Um, but they have their place. You just kind of got to know what you're getting into. I think these formulas are really lovely. I think that like if you catch them on sale, it's great. I, these work for me. I think I've, I've used them in the waterline. I've used them as liner. I've used them as an eyeshadow base. I've used them as like an eyeshadow base, but one where I blended it out. Like this is a really cool color for that. So I, I don't need more of these because I, I need to you as I almost dropped one. I need to use the ones that I have, but I think that these are a pretty nifty little formula if you kind of know what you're getting into when you pick them up. Now, when it came to eyeshadow palettes, there wasn't a lot in my collection that could really fit the bill, but I had to mention the Kaleidos Futurism palettes. I, at one point in time, owned all seven of them. Um, so I originally bought the first three, including Astro Pink, when they were when they launched i bought cyber bronze sci-fi green and astro pink really enjoy them uh then i also picked up electro turquoise and vr neon so much fun and then i ended up getting the sashimi city and lunar lavender in pr um over the course of moving i actually lost sci-fi green which kind of broke my brain and i was like okay I can, I can declutter the ones I'm not using. So anyway, I currently have these three, but this was absolutely a case of like, I bought the first three. I really enjoyed working with them. I really enjoyed the color stories. I fucking love the packaging. I love their, that they're magnetic. So like when the next ones came out, I was, I was going to buy them and like no regrets. So these definitely count. I don't think that there's another eyeshadow palette in my collection that kind of fits in this series. 
Um, but singles, I'll, I'll, I'll save singles for the end. Now, a little break from makeup. Let's talk brushes because I realize that they're like, you know, I know not everyone is interested in like go-to brushes, but I realized that there are a couple of shapes that I really like and I went back to over and over again. I talked about this, I think in the live that, that Audra and I did with T over on Audra's channel um, about the Zoeva concealer brush. I recently picked up a second one of these and I am so happy to have these. I really love this shape. I love how it can pack it in or blend it out. Such a good brush. I'm so happy I have two now. And I just wanna quickly shout out uh, Coastal Scents, I think was one of the first brands that I went back to and bought multiples of. They have two natural hair brushes that I love. This one on the top is for blending and this one for shimmers. Like this kind of like pointed blender is such an Emily shape because it can really get into like the small parts of my eye, but then I can smush, 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 blend, whatever with, with it, with like the the bristles that are lower down. And this other brush is just such a good like fingertip shimmer all over the eye kind of brush. Ugh. I, to be honest, the only reason I was sad when they went out of business is because I didn't have warning to pick up like six more of each of these brushes. Another shimmer brush that I fucking love, and now I have I think three of, thank you to a dear subscriber, is the 21 brush from Refer. So when Refer did their Kickstarter, I picked up the whole collection and this brush was a prototype that was in the collection. And I was like, please Refer, if you bring out any other brush, bring out this brush. And like, because it's such, it, I use, I would, whew, calm down. This is, this is my favorite shimmer brush. And I think this is just such a good brush. It picks it up. I would never bother with cut crease because to me, if I put down my base, like my glitter glue or my pixie epoxy, and then I go in with this brush, this rounded shape, just like it can give me that cut crease shape without all of the effort of a cut crease. I think I have, I either have three or four of these. I love this brush. Now, another, there was a couple of other um, sizes from Refer that I definitely picked up multiples of. I'm not gonna say Refer is the end all be all for brushes. I don't think it is like, but like it's, it was a good entryway for me into natural hair brushes and I have no regrets on that end. Um, the 16, I think I have two of these. This is their largest blender, but I really like it. I really like the taper on these. Um, and I find that like if I'm doing blush draping or even if I'm just going like, you know, very like easy blendy, this one is a lovely brush shape. Um, I think the 14 is the smaller version of that tapered blender. And I think I only have one of those and I picked up like five of the number 13, which is their smallest blender. I'm trying to find them for you, but I'm also just distracted because I'm filming. So yeah, I have like four or five of the 13s. These are just such a nice small blender. I don't know where my, I thought I had like two of the 14s. I would actually take more of the 14s because the 14s have a bit more of the taper. And I thought I preferred this one cause it's smaller, but I do really like the taper shape for blending. Anyway, multiples of my brushes covered. Actually one more, the 23, which is the tiniest little pencil brush. I also picked up another one of those because I had just never seen like a pencil shape that, that small. Let's talk lip products. Cause I feel like that's where like, I really shine with this concept. The Fenty Gloss Bomb. Now I've gone through all one of the original. This is a repurchase but I also picked up Fussy. I think I got it in that little duo with the glitter topper thing. I really like Fussy. I would consider getting a full size of this once this one is done, but I just really like this gloss. I don't know. 
Maybe there's better glosses out there. I know that there are lots of options for gloss, but something about this gloss I just really enjoy. Another quick shout out to Fenty, the matte Moselles, which I don't think are available anymore. I originally picked up the teal and the green. Ooh, coffee burp, apologies. I originally picked up the teal and the green, and then I went back and got the navy clapback. I, I think I even, like, I thought these were overhyped, and then I tried them finally when they were going out of production, and I think they're really nice. But, you know what makes me sad? Like, I, I, I know Urban Decay is gonna do Urban Decay things, because mainstream popularity, but they reformulated and narrowed down the color options for their Vice lipstick, and this shit, like, I think I have eight. I only found, I only pulled out six, but I think I have eight. Again, every time Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and these went on sale, I picked up a couple. Like, I have, I got this one as a, I think as like a Secret Santa pen pal gift. It's a bright, like warm purple. I definitely, I think the next colors I picked up were like these neutral tones, cause it was still, you know, I don't know, whatever. But we have Naked and Backseat, which are pretty, I feel like iconic colors. And I think those still exist in their line. Yeah, I definitely don't have all of them out here because there's a color called Crisis that's like a deep purpley plummy color that's beautiful. This one called Backseat is like a warm orangey brown. Like I think of the word cognac, uh, gash. I have found a new found love for gash because it matches my red wig to a T. And then Shame is this really deep, but like, I think this is a cream formula. Most of the ones that I picked up that I love from this collection are cream. Uh, I think Back Talk is matte and I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't love it as much. I would rather have a little bit more slip and moisture than matte. Like that's just my lipstick preferences. This to me is, Somebody needs to take a chill pill. The Urban Decay formula was so good. I don't know if the reformulation is as good. If anyone knows, let me know. Like, I just, ah, it's, it's a really good formula. Also, uh, yes, I need to use them more. I do. But it's just, it was like, when, it, when they first did that re relaunch where they had a hundred shades, I was like, okay, calm down. But then like once I started exploring, I was like, okay, but there are a lot of pretty shades. Damn it. Um, another brand that I have talked quite a lot about loving is Propa Beauty. They have super creamy satin lipsticks. And when they first launched, I remember I picked up like, I think it was Made It, Limitless, Finesse, and Believe It or maybe it was, I don't know. I picked up four and then I picked up four more. These are such a beautiful line of lipsticks. They're all like kind of like browns and oranges. I feel like I have some really good like neutral nudes in here for me, some more rich tones, deep tones, like just a really lovely collection of colors. Again, do I need eight? No, cause I have my favorites that I go back to all the time, but at the same time, no regrets. And another well-loved brand on this channel is Lisa Eldridge. Uh, the Lisa Eldridge Pink Trio was, I think, my first, it wasn't my first dip into really luxury lipsticks, but it felt like it. Like I had, I had a NARS one before, but these feel a little more luxe. So I really enjoyed, I've talked about, I love the packaging. I really enjoy the formula. So I had to get Velvet Midnight. I have Skyscraper Rose from the pink collection on my lips today with some black ombre. But yeah, I am, I am so happy that I picked up this really rich dark color because 
it just like these are this is the velvet matte formula which is about as matte as i really want to go if i'm being honest it's also me telling myself that so that i can not be so tempted by kaleidos lip clays god damn it but um i just really enjoy this these formulas the packaging all of it no complaints have i said no complaints after like every single product let me know in the comments i feel like i have but also what is memory now the last ones i'm going to mention are my single eyeshadows i'm not going to show you because I maybe i'll put pictures in we'll see we'll see did editing emily behave and add some photos in only time will tell yeah 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 i'll add the pictures so, I, so here's the thing. Whenever I order single eyeshadows from a brand, especially if it's a new to me brand, um, I have this tendency to just like buy a bunch in one fell swoop. That's been kind of my pattern over the years. But there are a couple of collections in particular that I can think of that I went back and bought from. And this probably is not a comprehensive list, but I just thought I would call it out. So Lethal Cosmetics, their mattes. I know I picked up some of their bundled eyeshadows in the past. I've definitely bought the bundled palettes or whatever, but I also know that I have gone back to their site and picked up like a build your own palette for myself that's like different mattes that they have. I really adore their matte formula. And so I know I've gone back and picked up more and expanded and added to my collection. Um, with Davina, so again, Davina has done, or not again, know, whatever, again, good, it again is a filler for me. Davina does different like formulas, different collections. And so a lot of times when I'm going back to Davina to order, I'm ordering a new collection, but the Galaxy uh, Dust, collection and the candy exploders collection i remember with both of those i ordered a handful from each collection and then probably a year maybe maybe more time maybe less time i picked up a few more from each collection because i was like still thinking of celesta from the galaxy dust collection or i think pixie dust from the candy exploders like I have this thing where I try, I try to not duplicate myself if I notice that a brand is kind of duplicating themselves in a collection. Um, so I will a lot of times pick up like four from a collection of six or six from a collection of nine. But yeah, but you know, over time I was like, it's okay if they slightly duplicate themselves, I want them. Or I tried to pick up other ones that were less du duplicative. Wow, that's not a word. You know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I still really enjoy both of those formulas. I still think that they are a lovely, like, shiny, sparkly, flaky, textural formula. Um, and so that's why I picked up more. And then the last one that I can remember are the Cleona Stained Glass Shadows. So I remember picking up a five pack, five pack, uh, the Build Your Own like set of five. So it was one of the jeweled, one of the iridescent, one of the pastel, and two of the glitter multi-chrome formulas. And I had a lot of frustration with the jeweled multi-chrome because of my eyes and finding the right eye base. But I finally did find the right eye base and I was so like, I just, I really enjoy the formulas. I enjoy the variation within the line blah, 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 blah. Was it 2020 or 2021? Maybe it was, I don't remember. I might've ordered it like mm, mid 2020 and I got it like fall, winter 2020. I can't remember. I just know that 2021 was not a big year for me ordering single eyeshadows not really my choice just just life situations but anyway i picked up more from their collection i'm really happy with the ones that i have picked up and i am trying to be patient and patiently awaiting their expansion 
Just me? I know it's not just me. Anyway, so yeah, I'd like, do I think other indie brands are competing with the quality and the finishes and everything that Cleona does? Totally, totally. Do I still have a little bit of a infatuation? Thank you to like the, the, the way the stained glass shadows all look together and all of that. Yeah, I do. So, so I think, I think that's it. I think those are all of these so nice. I bought it twice products. Although who knows, I could be missing things. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear about like, is there a, is there a lip product that you just can't help but pick up more colors in or an eyeliner or a single eyeshadow formula or whatever? You know, I like hearing from y'all. I love hearing about makeup or products that you really like. Cause like, what's more fun than talking about stuff we love? I mean, talking about things we hate is also fun. Yeah, that's also fun. Anyway, on that note, a gentle reminder, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join the Han Han fam. And most importantly, don't forget to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it. Bye friends.